Fuck. <clears throat> Imagine a treatment for Tourette's that doesn't include medication, therapy, or even brain surgery, and that has very little side effects. Sounds impossible, right? Maybe not. Today, I want to talk about a new device that's being developed that might do just that. What is it? And how does it work? Let's go. Hi, I'm Luca and I make videos about what it's like to live with Tourette's. And if you have Tourette's, then you might be really interested in finding something, some type of treatment that actually works for you. Because of course, medication doesn't work for everybody. Therapy, the same thing, and it's not always accessible. Brain surgery is, that's kind of a very big step to take. So when I read about this new treatment in the magazine of the Dutch Tourette's organization, I really wanted to know what it was all about. Maybe you don't have Tourette's and you're watching this and you know someone that has it and you're just really interested in showing them this video. That's really cool. But I do want to give a bit of a disclaimer. And if you have Tourette's yourself, chances are you've been asked this question. There is a button. If you push the button, the Tourette's is gone. Would you push the button? And I normally really hate that question. And reasons are that that button doesn't exist. My Tourette's does exist. I've learned to live with that. Even though it sucks, I don't see myself as something that's broken, that needs to be fixed. And for people that are able-bodied, that don't have any disorders their entire life, that might sound weird because normally when you're sick, you go to the doctor, you get a pill, and you're better. You need to be fixed, right? But if there's no fix, there's no use in thinking about a cure constantly. This is our lives. And Sweet Anita once, once addressed this really well during one of her streams because she's been asked this a hundred times. Do you want a cure? Do you want a cure? And she was like, hmm. If you know someone who's paralyzed, who's in a wheelchair, you don't go up to them and ask them, do, don't you want to walk? Don't you want to be able to get up? Look at me, I can walk. Don't you want a cure? Don't you want to walk? That's a bit rude, right? So, and I'm paraphrasing here. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll link the original video in the description below because it's, it's a really good watch. But the reason I, I wanted to address this before I start talking about the actual exciting part is that Maybe some people are watching this that know people that have Tourette's and they're really excited to share this with them. And that's really nice and that's really cool. But be careful in, in how you do that. Don't be like, look at this thing. This will cure you. This will fix you. Like there's something wrong with you. Any treatment or cure should be because that person actually wants it. Tourette's in and of itself isn't something that needs to be fixed. It can make life really, it can make life really difficult, really hard. And, and that's fair, that's really true. And finding treatments to make life a bit better is, is very valid. But it should not be pushed upon you by people that don't know what it's like to live with it. And that was my big disclaimer, let's go look at the thing. Sources, resources, of course, will be in the description below so you can read into it. I think this is really cool. So what is this hype all about? So the University of Nottingham in the United Kingdom has been researching treatments for Tourette's and has developed a type of wearable wristband that sends an electrical current through the nerve to the brain that seems to actually work. I'm a real tech lover, so I'm already excited, but how does it work, right? So it all, ha all has to do with how movement works in the brain. When you initiate a movement, certain brain vibrations, as it were, 
have to actually be lowered so you can start to move. And so think of it like you're in a car on a hill, right? And you want to stay sitting still. Then you have to push down the brakes to stay put. Now, if you want to move, you have to lower the energy you put on the brakes so you can actually start moving. That's kind of how it works in the brain as well. Now, with tic disorders such as Tourette's, there's actually in a change in how these chemicals work in the brain, how these chemical messages work in the brain. So your brakes, to use that same metaphor, don't work correctly. You don't have enough strength to keep pushing those brakes down, so you just keep moving. Now, what the device does is it, it sends these electrical pulses, pulses yeah, through the nerve to the brain and it actually heightens those brain functions. So it, it stops you from ticking. And so theoretically, that's already, already really cool. But apparently it actually works. It reduces the fre frequency of ticks, the severity of the ticks and the urge to tick. Wow, <laughs> I'm so excited about that. So they did this study with 19 people with Tourette's, randomly giving them like a minute without the electrical pulses and a minute with it. And the results were really cool. There's a video actually that shows the difference and I'll show you a little clip of that now. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah. Say f Say it. Say f ha. You smell like camel. Ha, ha. Is it time to party yet? Ha. Now, to be honest, that's really exciting to me. Uh, sadly, the device isn't on the market yet. It's still being developed. They want to turn it into kind of like a Fitbit, so, an, you know, kind of like an Apple Watch that you can just put on when you need it. That sounds really interesting, that you can kind of control when you want this relief of your of your ticks. So this device really seemed to work, especially with the more, more severe ticks, and it also didn't seem to have side effects a lot. So I think that's really exciting, and I'm really interested in finding out more as soon as they are developing it further. So yeah, what do you think? Is this something you'd be interested in? What are your thoughts? Leave a comment below. I'm, I'd love to have a discussion about this. If you thought this was at all interesting, let me know. Maybe leave a like. I make weekly videos about Tourette, also ADHD and trans related stuff. I kind of mix it up a bit. So if you're interested in that, please consider subscribing, maybe. We're turning into a lovely little family here. It'd be great to have you here. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Thank <laughs> you.